Okay, I think I got all the crap out of here. And I put the more appropriately sized capacitors in here. I fixed all of the cut shit. So all your limiters are back in now. And I've done a tune on the radio. But something else I found when I was flipping radio back and forth. Your damn power supply is loose. And it's loose. What's that screw right there? See that screw right there moving? So to get to that screw to tighten it up, I gotta take the damn power supply out. But I'm not gonna ship it to you with it loose like that. Anyway, I cleaned up all of his crap on the bottom. You see that red wire's gone. Uh, I cleaned up the power wires. He had just melted the ends of the installation. Uh, insulation. I'll send that back to you. I've been throwing the junk in that little thing there. I'm going to put it in a baggie and send it to you. Uh, I got all of the support parts done for the second uh, final. You can see there's the other adjustment, there's the uh, test point, there's the cap that feeds that second final, okay? There's your uh, part of your biasing circuit, that big resistor right there, all right? And the jumper was already in there, but it wasn't doing anything. So, that's all been taken care of now. There's a, another 100k ohm resistor that goes back there, a little 5.6 volt diode that goes underneath there. Uh, just a lot of little things and, and the, the, the cut uh, limiters have all been fixed in here now. So, okay, let me uh, get it hooked up and I'll show you some output. And if you notice, there's supposed to be one of those pinch bars right there. And they took that out when they put that red wire in there to bypass the uh, feedback circuit. Okay, un unlocked the clarifier for you. But, you know, when I'm trying to tune it in, I'm noticing this shit. It's either about to fall out or that pot is bad, so I've got to take the face off of it and... Uh, either replace the pot or tighten it up, one or the other. Cause you ain't gonna be able to control your damn clarifier. Well, I guess you can, but make it much easier if this damn thing was tight. That's that's ridiculous. That's not the knob. That is the control. Let me get in there and check that. Nope, it is the pot. See there? Damn it! All right, let me fix it. Okay, that control got bumped or something because it was cracking around the leads. The solder was cracked around the leads. Oh, there it is. It's out. Kind of hard to demo with one hand. <laughs> okay, I got a new one. All right, and here's the new one. I believe it's an Alps. I can't find the name on it anywhere, but uh, it's one of the better ones. Uh, what to do with Oh, I stuck it over here in your bad parts thing. See how that one's made there on the top? I just think this is a better made control, kind of like this one. Anyway, I'm putting that back in the in the parts to send to you. And I gotta take this guy here out, tighten him up. Look at that. Shit. I'll fix that. <laughs> that could have happened from it being shipped. Okay, more to come. Okay, I also gave you some more slide. I don't know if you can see that. You can't with a you put something. Ah, what have I got? What have I got? Hang on a minute. Let me put the face, slip the face back on. Okay, gave you a little more slide 
Uh, like I told you, I unlocked the clarifier. This thing doesn't do anything anymore. So you go down now on channel 38, you can slide down to about 382. And let's see, there's, there's center frequency. And it goes up about two and a half. So down about three and up about two and a half. Okay. And so you can move around a little more. All right, I'm going to uh, put the face back together and then I'm going to take the power supply out and tighten all the screws. All right, got the power supply tight. They put two screws in the front and three in the back. I may put another one up here. Uh, it's got the hole for it. I just didn't put it in. They don't put it in any of them, so yours is no different than the rest of them, but it's good and tight now. It don't go kathunk kathunk when the, you move it around. Okay. I think that's everything. I'm going to put the knobs back on it, uh, set the covers on it, and do the 24-hour burn-in. And uh, if everything goes well, it'll go out money. Money. <laughs> It'll go out Monday. It's late. It, it's like 2.30 in the morning. Uh, actually, it's Sunday morning now. So, Dunny, I think you're all fixed up there, buddy. Uh, anyway. Later. Okay, Dunny. I think you're all fixed up there, buddy. Got the power supply nice and tight. There's no rattle anymore. And uh, I've already showed you that I changed the components out, put the uh, correct size components in there. Uh, did a tune-up, got all the parts in for that guy. Uh, fixed your clarifier knob. Uh, opened the clarifier, you know, unlocked the clarifier. It goes up about seven and a half and down, not seven and a half, goes up two and a half and down about three. Okay, let you move around a little bit. Uh, uh, let's see, I got about, what time is it now? About 2.30 in the morning. So I got about six hours, six and a half hours in it. But it's all, it's clean, you know, it sounds good. Uh, all of those weird Modifications he had done to it are gone. The radio is set up like it should be. Uh, I repaired all the clip limiters. And, you know, I mean, here, just let me show you. That's a 10 watt slug on that side. That's RMS. That's a 50 watt slug on this side. That's peak envelope power or peak. And it's set on times one. Okay, I'm on AM channel 20. I got RF power turned all the way up. We're dead keying about 6 watts with it all the way up. No, I'm sorry, 8 watts. Hello, audio, audio, 1, 2, 1, 2, audio, audio, hello. As you can see, it goes past 50 on peak. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, audio. It moves forward uh, on RMS. Now that was on AM. I'm going to switch to sideband. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Let me switch that to times 2.5. Now that's, so we're at 150. In other words, when that bottom scale there says 100, it's actually 150. Of course, we're not going to go that high, you know. So, 50 times 2.5, that's 125. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. I'm beating up my little 10 watt slug over here. Uh, it's walking and talking and that final is working okay it's not just sitting there all right 
I, I reset the bias, I, I did all of that stuff, and that was my fix for that missing piece there in the center. Uh, they're actually soldered to that board, so if someone has to work on it, they're going to have to unsolder those two center pins to uh, get the, the board out so they can set the bias and stuff. But I didn't have another one of those. All of my uh, uh, parts radios are all AM radios, and none of them have that part, you know, out of this chassis. And, you know, none of the rest of the radios have that. Most of them got jumpers. Have jumpers, not got jumpers. Most of them have jumpers. Okay. I think that's all I want to tell you. Uh, did I show you the bottom part of it? I think I did. But anyway, there it is. I cleaned up all of his solder. Uh, all that crap he had around the final and around that piece of wire he had run across there. Uh, took that stupid diode he had off of the uh, power regulator, AM power regulator. And I uh, put that circuit back to normal. Like I said, where he had cut transistor legs uh, and to bypass the uh, the limiters I put all that back in place all right so all your limiters are in place and you saw what the radio is doing so you don't need to cut limiters in these radios if you set them up right these damn things will talk okay I know you said stay to a hundred dollars so it was me that decided to, you know, put six hours into this thing, but at $40 an hour, that's $240. So that's way over what you told me to stay. So anyway, I'll send you a bill for a hundred dollars and, uh, you know, hopefully you'll come back. If you need a new radio or something like that, you'll contact me in the future. Okay, Donnie, I'm going to put the covers on it. It should go out Monday there, buddy. I'm going to do a 24-hour burn-in. I'm just going to set the covers on it. I've got a test bench uh, in the other room over there that I hook it up. It's got a uh, computer-controlled keying circuit. I just took an old junk computer and set it up so that it keys the radio. Like, you know, first 30 minutes, it'll key it for 30 seconds. The second 30 minutes, it keys it for... A minute the third 30 minutes it keys it for a minute and a half so on and so forth in other words every half hour it goes up a half a minute and uh, it does that re the longest it keys is five minutes okay but that's with no modulation uh, I haven't figured out how to get it to inject modulation when it keys it yet <laughs> I'm sure there is a way, and somebody may send me a schematic how to do that with a computer serial interface, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. If it does, then I can change the parameters. But, uh, at least that way it ensures the radio will work when you get it. Okay? Alright, Donnie, 7-3, buddy. And, uh, hope you enjoy it.